Hey guys and welcome to another Commodore 64 gaming video. We're gonna have a look at the game called The Baby of Kanguru. Very clever name. Uh, on the Commodore 64 published by Rainbow Arts in 1987 I believe. And this is another game that my friend Daz has dug up from the darkness underneath a pile of rocks or something. So I I'm just gonna admit it. I'm scared. He sent me a video of the game and I just barely just glimpsed it because I thought nah I'm just gonna enjoy this blind so you can get to enjoy the suffering because I have a feeling that the pants are strong with this one. But let's just first enjoy the amazing artwork on the cover. Yes, that is two kangaroos, I think. Fighting it out or making sweet, sweet kangaroo love, I'm not sure, but it's quite clear that they've used a photo as inspiration and I'm pretty sure I've seen this photo. So uh, yeah, they've probably just nicked the inspiration for this. Not the greatest cover art I've ever seen. And we're also going to have to have a look at the loading screen because that was missing from my version of the game. And yes, here we have two bags of potatoes fighting it out at night by the sea. At least that's what I think is going on here. And the title logo is actually, uh, better? Maybe a little bit more legible, perhaps? But yeah, not, not a great <sighs> loading screen. Let, let's just uh, dive into the pain. This one's for you, Daz. <laughs> And we've got some cool music going on here by none other than Chris Hulsbeck. So that is pretty damn awesome. Maybe it sounds a little bit like there's some filtering problems. I am running this on an emulator, so there might be some issues there. I'm not sure. But it still sounds cool. And this is another one of those Commodore 64 games where you need to use uh, joystick port 1. For one player game otherwise it won't work makes sense i suppose but it's always kind of annoying when you've got an emulator so let's press one and dive in oh yeah that kangaroo sprite looks very much like the sprite from uh, uh what's that arcade game called is it an atari game atari arcade game i think it's called kangaroo yeah we've got an angry bird and we've got a kangaroo mama kangaroo that's gonna find uh her son baby whatever and screen one isn't too bad. Let's see, can I do jumping here? Yes, I can. I can press up. And we've got a small volcano tree trunk here. That's interesting. We can do some punching, which is great. And we can also do kicking. But let's just jump past this silly boulder. Oh, that's kind of weird flip scrolling there. Why don't we just get continue scrolling? Oh, God, we need to punch this bird. Nope. He pecked me in the face and killed me. Mm-hmm. Let me guess, I'm being sent back to the... F no, thank you. Thank you, game. Uh, I don't know how to... Oh, hang on, I can do this. I can just cover. Duck and cover. Or kangaroo and cover, maybe. <laughs> That's funny. And I've got 10 points for some reason. Now I've got 25. That's great. I haven't really done anything, have I? Uh, this reminds me of Pitfall a little bit. Only... Uh, maybe not as good. Well, we'll see. Jump. You know, I, I didn't touch that evil volcano. I pressed up and, you know, forward. But hey, let's just assume I did anyway. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Yeah, that worked. Can we stand behind these? Oh, no. The spider bit my tail, which is, of course is fatal for me. Well, I mean, so far this isn't terrible. It's not great either. I mean, this is 1987, for God's sake. The Commodore 64 was way more capable than this at that point. Jump. Uh, can I... Uh, is it just wonky hit detection? Because it kind of looks like I'm actually in the clear there, but maybe my huge ass tail is causing problems. This is a jump putt. No, that doesn't work either. Oh, balls. Yeah, there were so many better games in 1987. Yeah, the spider still bites me in the nose. I mean, yeah, there's, there was even better games back in, I would say, 1985 than this. And the controls are a little bit wonky at times because I'm pressing the buttons. The game just doesn't really care. And I don't care too much either. Oh, sorry, got too near. And if I hold forward, I can kick. Can I do... No, 
No, I can only do jumping. I can't do a upwards kick. That doesn't work. How about diagonally down with fire button? Nope. Doesn't work. Uh, way of the exploding fist this isn't. Maybe I just need to wait for the right pattern here. Oh, yes. Run, 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 or jump, jump, jump. That worked great. Let's see what horrors the next screen holds for me. Oh, no. It's a monkey. Oh, gravity is funky in this game because I jump up and kind of levitate for a bit and then I fall down like I'm a... Uh... Yeah, a little bit too heavy. Okay, sneaky monkey fuck. I didn't expect that. Yeah, again, this game isn't horrible. It's not, however, great either. And I, I was, I was hoping I could do a Mario and just stomp that monkey's face into a bloody pulp. So how do I avoid these? Ah, oh, this monkey is damn good at what it's doing. You know your shit, monkey. I hope it's not throwing fecal matter at me. I wouldn't be surprised, filthy monkey. That worked. That didn't. Got confused there. Oh, controlling this pile of kangaroo fecal matter isn't fun. The controls are not responsive enough to get stuff done. You gonna come over? Yes, you are. And I was just gonna punch you in the face, Mr. Monkey, but you decided to uh, gently touch my ankle and then promptly murder me. All right, then. What? I am pushing down. Oh, Christ, on a pogo stick. <laughs> Take that to the face, you ugly simian. Well, at least this is doable. If not super enjoyable. Oh, we've got these weird crawling rocks. I don't know what they are. They're kind of creepy. Oh, God. Don't get up yet, man, because the bird will do something to you. Mm. And I'm using snapshots, by the way, because I don't think I would have had the patience to... Why am I not jumping when I am pressing? Clearly, pressing the buttons. And again, I am pressing diagonally forward, but nope. Nope. I would like to punch things a bit more, like... I, I wouldn't mind punching this boulder, for instance. And again, Jesus Christ, I am pushing diagonally forward. Why is it not working? <laughs> Thank you! And you, stupid parrot. Oh, God. Yeah, the controls are pants. Absolute pants. Ah, oh, yeah, it didn't work the first time there. Refuses to jump sometimes. Just because that makes the game more... Uh, difficult. You stupid kangaroo. So, how about making a list of games I'd rather play on the Commodore 64? I'd rather play Law of the West. I'd rather play Saxon. I'd rather play... Some of the old, old, old games from... 19... Oh god, you're faster than I am, monkey. Like the really old... What were they called? Interceptor Software? They made some pretty trashy initial games on the Commodore 64 and also made some pretty good ones. Uh, take a punch. No. Fire button decides. No. You're not allowed to punch now because reasons. So this is kind of a lame mix between Pitfall and um, that Kangaroo Atari arcade game, which I think is called Kangaroo, to be perfectly honest. Only infinitely more poo. And how the hell... Oh, I can actually just... Ah, I don't have to jump, like, proper jump. I can do a mini jump, and that will actually allow me to dodge the fecal matter from the monkey. If I time it correctly, that is. Which, of course, is never going to happen again. I want to punch you. Yeah, I'd rather play uh, Pitfall or Kangaroo uh, than this and or most things. Is it the worst Commodore 64 game ever, though? No. No, it's not. Uh, it's really not, but it's, yeah, at the same time, it's not great. Oh, I couldn't be allowed to sniff that tree trunk? I'm sorry. I didn't know that, that tree trunks are bad for me. 
I'm a kangaroo, you know. I'm ca I live in the outback. I'm I'm used to this stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, how am I supposed to deal with this? Oh, sorry. I briefly touched it. Am I supposed to be able to jump this? Uh, well, maybe if the jumping actually worked, then yes. Yeah, that was interesting. I can somehow magically jump through the upper part of the tree trunk, but I cannot touch it in any other way. Ah, uh, what trash. Oh no, it's Mr. Monkey again. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Pet. Oh, jump, please. Uh -huh. A little bit of Donkey Kong Jr. thrown in for good measure here. Not that it really helps. Ah, oh, you monkey fuck. Take... Oh, I was too far away and he rocked my world again. Oh, I mean, the worst aspect of this game is without doubt the controls. They just feel like they're kind of random. Yeah, it's super annoying how the interval and frequency of the monkeys when they throw stuff is it's random. So sometimes when you expect them to attack, they don't, and the other one attacks instead, or the other way around, and it just throws you off. And again, no response from the fire button. I think, I mean, there's, I think there's something happening with the sprite. He's kind of doing a punch, but it doesn't connect for some reason. Way of the exploding kangaroo pouch. This isn't. Oh, God. If you could just have, like, half a second to be allowed to stand in front of an enemy for half a second without touching them because I'm not touching that monkey and just be allowed to punish him. But no, 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 no. You die the moment you stand next to the monkey due to simian radiation. It destroys the the DNA of any other living creature. Ugh. Uh, I don't know if it's the fact that if you're moving forward and pressing fire, you're not allowed to attack. I think you have to be at an absolute standstill to be allowed to punch or kick something. Otherwise, it won't work. Otherwise, you just you just won't do anything. Uh. Oh, what demon-possessed garbage is this? Oh, God, I just mistimed that. I mean, you don't want to wait for too long because then they're going to be up right next to you. And you know that? Simian radiation? Mm, yeah, that's bad. Take it! Take it to your collective faces, you bastards! I got it done. Let's just make one more snapshot. Oh, God, I don't want to play this anymore, but I'm going to try for a bit longer. Oh. oh, look, it's a ball. That's great. Can I... Oh. And again. Nothing happens when I press jump. I mean, not a... Oh. Not a horrible game again, but honestly... There's so many better games in 1987 they could play. You could have gotten an Amiga or an Atari ST as well and just never had to get anywhere near this pile of crap and I'm really glad they didn't convert this to the 16-bit systems and I think the only version available is the Commodore 64 I think they knew there was little point in converting this to other systems that worked but the graphics are I mean not terrible oh god it's dad or uh, I think we're gonna have to Oh, it's way of the exploding kangaroo pouch again. Wait, I hit that f three times, and he hits me once, and I'm dead. All right, last attempt, because I am getting properly fed up with this. Okay, this is maybe not as hard as I... Again, I get him three times. He just barely, gently touch my pouch, and I explode. And I'm pressing fire. Even the really nice music is getting on my nerves. And again, I am pressing fire. 
Okay, it seems like I can remotely hit this guy. I mean, it's so weird. Sometimes I can be like 14 miles away from him and still get him. And other times I basically gonna be have to be sitting on his head to get a punch in there. You know what? I'm done. This is honestly pants, really. It, it's not the worst pants ever on the Commodore 64, but it's not, it's not fun to play. Much thanks to the garbage controls. Good music, pretty decent graphics, maybe not for 1987 though, but yeah, I, we're gonna call it quits. I, I couldn't find any reviews for this game. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this quick peek at Kangaroo Exploding Pouch or whatever hell this is called. And uh, thanks for watching and all that stuff. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers.